What's going on guys, Don Patchy here for another uh, Cribcraft tour, and today we're going to be checking out the Baskerville Estate. Um, if you guys have been paying attention to the channel, uh, a couple weeks ago Kevin uploaded uh, Generations Estate, it's a really cool house and I suggest you take it out. But uh, anyway, what me, Kyle, and Kevin have been doing is working on some mansions to uh, you know, close off the Cribcraft world, and uh, today we're going to be checking out mine. Uh, it's all finished, and in total it took me about uh, three weeks to make, so uh, why don't we just head into the gate. And right when we walk in, you can see the Baskerville Estate in all its glory. Uh, it's pretty tall, too. It's three stories, uh, besides the attic space, which there's really not a lot in there. But, um, yeah, as you can see, it's like a sandstone and uh, a lot of quartz up in here. It looks really nice. So uh, why, why don't we um, not keep you guys waiting anymore and head on inside? All right. Right when you walk in, uh, you can see this is the uh, main foyer area. Uh, we got a nice chandelier up there. It looks really nice and really nice and everything. Some nice pillars, you're gonna see a lot of those in the house, I kinda like, utilize them a lot. Um, right over here is the main fireplace area, a nice big chandelier up there too. Uh, you can see Kyle's enjoying a nice, uh, sit in the fire. Oh yeah, it's uh, something, something that rich people do, it's uh, really relaxing. Uh, but yeah, we got some nice sitting, sitting area over here, it looks nice in front of the fireplace. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's like the main room when you walk in, so uh, we're gonna head down this hallway right now. And, uh, let's go check out the dining room first. So if we head down this way, just down the hallway. So, uh, right when we walk in, we see this giant, uh, grand dining table. Uh, it's really big. It holds, like, 14 people. And there's another small fireplace here. Uh, so it's really decorative in here. We have some nice paintings and stuff. Over here, we have some of, um, some of the grand chairs. It's kind of like a king and queen's chair. I don't know why I put them in here, but it really looks nice. And, uh, Kyle's sitting up there in the queen's chair. Nice. Um, uh, we have some bookshelves with some glasses and stuff. I guess it's like a wine rack or something. But, uh, I really like how the dining room came out. It's really, uh, formal. I like that. Alright, so, uh, if we head into this room, this is downstairs, the living room. And it has the, uh, first TV in the house. So, big flat screen TV. You guys see those a lot in our um, houses and mansions that we make. But I'm going to point out the uh, nice lighting feature we have here. It's a cobblestone wall and some wood fence. Makes for a nice little lamp design. And above it we have, uh, that's, a, that's an end stone frame with glowstone above it. It looks really nice in the natural texture pack. Uh, it's a really cool lighting design by Kyle. Uh, if you guys build a natural texture pack, it's a really cool design that you can use for lighting. So uh, right when we walk in, this is the uh, bar kitchen area. Over here you can see the uh, nice big bar. Uh, we have some stools and everything that looks really nice. And uh, if you go behind here, uh, for some reason, the uh, little uh, potion bottles aren't in the brewing stands, but they might be there on Kevin's screen. Uh, Kevin's recording this, by the way. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the bar. I really like how it came out. Nice and big, mansion, mansion-y feel. And uh, over here is the kitchen. This is like where you cook your meals and stuff. Uh, Kevin really likes this kitchen. He thinks it's, uh, my best kitchen that I've made. Uh, I, I like it a lot, too, and it's, I drew inspiration from, uh, the game Hitman Absolution. There was a mansion, and it had a really nice, uh, kitchen, so I was like, yeah, I, I think I could, uh, try and remake that. So, uh, this is what came out, and I really like it. Uh, I got some black cabinets. It's something I never did before. It looks nice. And, uh, this is the breakfast nook. This is where you'd have, like, um, breakfast or, like, a little casual dinner. Nothing big. You'd go into the, uh, dining room for that. Uh, this is a little, uh, this is a little pantry. Uh, got some gear, uh, brew kegs and some, uh, spices and stuff, some pastry stuff. Just where you keep the food and stuff, like a little walk-in closet. Uh, so right down the hallway, we have the first bathroom and, uh, oh, oh my. Uh, uh, don't go in there. Looks like, he, looks like he's busy. Uh, we'll check out one of the bathrooms upstairs later. But, uh, anyway, if we walk in here, uh, we have another little fireplace. This is like the, uh, little sitting area. We have some nice comfy uh, armchair, like armchairs here with a coffee table. Uh, and right out here, we have a little courtyard area. I like this. Um, it's nothing big or spectacular. You just come out here to enjoy the uh, outdoors and stuff. Sit under the neat canopy or I forget what this is actually called, but a uh, nice little garden here. All right, let's head back inside real quick. I'll just show you the rest of like what's in this room. We have a little pool table with some uh, nice picture frames. And uh, something I forgot p to point out, um, if you guys haven't noticed yet, around all the doors, windows, and pictures, you can see that there's um, pillared quartz like lining them. It's a really nice um, design for a mansion. Uh, it, maybe you guys can draw some inspiration from it because uh, it does look nice uh, for picture frames and like doorways. And uh, there's just a little sitting area over here. Like he here's a uh, window with the pillared quartz. Looks nice. So uh, yeah, that's 
that's the first floor. Um, so we're gonna head up to the second floor now, and to, uh, for the sake of time, we're gonna fly over there because it is a pretty long walk, so let me just navigate my way through the kitchen. It's kind of like, like a maze. Alright, so let's head up the nice big spiral staircase. Head up here, and it's gonna bring us into the first room upstairs, uh, which is the piano room right when you walk up. You can see this nice big grand piano. Um, we have a uh, Hamlet skull on top. That's really nice. And this is the uh, this is the sheet music right here. That's really nice. Uh, it's a big it's a big um piano, but I think it fits in the room. I really like it. Uh, over here is the uh, balcony that looks over the uh, fireplace room. That's where uh that's where Kyle was like chilling in the fireplace down there. So that's really nice. Uh, here's the uh, balcony to the foyer room. Take a quick look. Uh, we have some like couches over here. Some bookshelves. Just uh. The bookshelves are uh, really cool because it like actually um it actually like uh, brings the room to life instead of having a plain boring wall. It's nice to have like the books on there. Over here is a small bathroom, really small actually. It's like tiny, it's like two by f uh, three I think. So um all right, let's head down this hallway over here. It's gonna bring us to the uh, guest bedrooms. So we have the little guest bedroom in here, nothing special. And there's like one on the other side. I guess this is where like the uh, this is where like the uh, kid or the boy would sleep. So uh, over here, this is uh, one of the bigger guest bedrooms. Uh, comes with its own bathroom. We'll check that in a second. But we can see a little little study area over here, and a uh, computer desk over here behind me. Nice big uh, queen size bed for the guests. And uh, over here, this is one of the nicer bathrooms. Um, it's uh, really nice. I like the jungle wood and the quartz. I think they uh, go good together. Um, nice big shower over here. Walk in there, you can see the uh, faucet head. And that's where you keep the shampoo and stuff. Uh, yeah, just little things that I like in this bathroom, like the uh, sink and stuff. So uh, let's go down the uh, to the other end of the house. We'll check out the next hallway. Uh, over here is the atrium. Uh, well, this is just a little garden area. It's like a uh, little plant. But uh, over here is the atrium. Uh, it's where an atrium is where like you keep like exotic plants and stuff. You can see we have different types of uh, leaves and stuff, and some uh, vines draping over the doors. Looks really nice. Uh, we have a little, <laughs> we have a little balcony over here. This is this is where you have tea time, as you can see. Like, uh, would you would would you care for a spot of tea, Master Drubbing Babies? Ah, uh, yes, riveting old bean. <laughs> that was that was my uh, impression of a uh, sophisticated Englishman. So, <laughs> so uh, right over here, this is the uh, other hallway I was talking about. We have a nice big pool table and a uh, couch. And uh, behind Kevin over here is another bathroom. It looks similar to the one we just checked out, so um, you guys can like draw the uh, similarities together. Toilet and bath and stuff it looks really nice. And uh, this little room over here, uh, this is the uh, private little uh, study area. Uh, it's it's really small, but I kind of like it because it's like um, it's really like uh, secluded and stuff. I kind of like this is supposed to be a computer screen, and you just sit in the chair and like upload uh, upload videos to YouTube. So that's nice. I really like that. It's one, of, it's one of my favorite rooms in the house, even though it's so small. And uh, uh, these two rooms are just more guest bedrooms. Small little rooms, nothing nothing special. This is where like the guests of the mansion would stay, as you can see. That's nice. And uh, down the hallway over here, this is the uh, this is the upstairs living room. Again, it's got a nice flat screen TV and some uh, those are some DVDs behind it in the uh, pillar quartz frame over there. That's so uh, that's nice. Uh, Nice lighting design. Oh, and uh, I'm using uh, jungle wood for the ceiling. If you guys haven't noticed that, as we're walking throughout the house, it looks really nice on the ceiling. Uh, yeah. So anyway, right when we walk in here, this is this is my favorite room in the house. This is the um, private study slash library, and we're gonna check it out in a second. Um, it's the biggest room in the house. Um, it's two stories tall, and it's like got so much going on in it. Uh, we have a nice pool table here, and uh, behind me. We have an even bigger office area, like the little one we check out. This is like the uh, this is like the master office area. We have lots of books and stuff, and a big desk where the computer is. I really like that desk. It's a really cool setup. Um, so yeah, we just have some uh, bookcases and uh, some couches over here. So if we head upstairs, this will bring us to the library area. Uh, I'm just gonna go up the winding staircase, and ah yes, here we go. This is the uh, library area. Over here we have a nice sitting area. This is where like uh, you and your friends would like talk about like what's going on in the uh, in the economy nowadays in the Cribcraft world. Like, uh, wouldn't wouldn't you agree, old bean? I think I I think Kevin agrees. <laughs> no, Kevin doesn't agree. <laughs> uh, uh, so right when you walk down, we have a balcony overlooking the uh, office area down there, or like the pool table, like you can see. A nice little chandelier. 
And uh, over here, this is the uh, private bedroom. I really like I really like this private bedroom a lot because at first it was just like a couple of seats and some more bookcases, but I turned it into a uh, bedroom. So as you can see, it's got a nice uh, big bed, some uh, dressers and some shelves and stuff, and a little table. Uh, and in here is the private bathroom, and this this is really cool because like I I had enough space to put this in here. I was like, yeah, I think I could throw a bathroom in here. That'll look nice. Um, so it's really cool. I see, I like the end stone and uh, spruce wood planks combination going on here looks really nice it's a really cool feel it's got like a private bathroom feel so let me just walk out here and uh this we have a little enchanting room over here kind of cool it's, it's really enchanting <laughs> um so uh that's the second floor guy that's the entire second floor and the um first half of the third floor just can jump down here um, so the last part to check out would be the master bedroom, and the cool part about the master bedroom is it takes up the entire third floor. You'll you'll see that in a second. Let me just walk up here. Fall staircase. Now that I have to look at it. All right, so here we are. So right when we walk in, um, this room's pretty cool. It's the uh, blueprint room. This is um this is where the blueprints for um building uh, Cribcraft houses is, and I really like this because um. So what I want to do when I'm older is I kind of want to be a civil engineer and what they do is um they plan out things they plan out like roadworks and uh bridges and buildings and stuff it's really cool. Um yeah, that's the balcony over there but yeah. Uh I thought it'd be cool to add a blueprint thing and we got plenty of books on architecture and stuff. I kind of I I th I really like that little room. And uh up here is the master living room. <laughs> uh we have another flat screen, some nice couches and a fireplace. This is the uh I think this is the fourth or fifth fireplace in the house, but yeah, looks nice. And uh, over here is the master bedroom. So it's really big. This is the biggest uh, bedroom in the, ha in the house. Uh, we have a flat screen, nice big bed, and I really like how it came out too. It's another another one of my favorite houses. Yeah, uh, Kevin Kevin just said it kind of feels like a penthouse, and it kind of does actually because it is really secluded from the rest of the house. And uh, right in here is the uh, big closet. This is where you keep your shoes and sh shirts and stuff. And Dress pants and things, really nice. So uh, the last room we're gonna check out, it, well, actually the um, second to last room we're gonna check out is this little pool room. Nothing special, just some shelving and some pillars and the pool table. And the last room is the uh, master bathroom. And uh, like like the private bathroom in the library, it's got the same design with the end stone and the spruce wood planks, which I really like. Big uh, big sink and everything. We have a jacuzzi bathtub and an enormous shower. That is a big shower. So I really like how that came out, and uh, it's really spacious in here. And, and what, what do you, what, who let who let a homeless man into my house again? I I I I really need to get assassin to like start slaughtering these homeless people. It's becoming a nuisance. So um, all right. So that was the interior. Um, if we go out onto this balcony right now, we can see the backyard, and we're gonna go check that out in a second. So uh. Why don't we head downstairs? Alright guys, so if you'll follow me, we're gonna head into the backyard, and uh, right when we walk out, we have this nice, uh, nice tent set up for a party. Like, if you ever, like, they, if your relatives have ever thrown a party or anything, or like, you've thrown a party, you just set up these, like, canopy tents where the, uh, tables are under, like, you can see all the glasses and the food set up under here, which is really cool. I really like to have it, too, because it's the first time I ever did something like this in Minecraft. But, um, over here, we'll check out the, uh, party deck. Actually, there's a nice grill, like, where the food is served up. And uh, these are the chafing dishes for the food. And uh, over here, like I said, this is the party deck. Um, it's really big, and we can see plenty of things over here. We have um, this is a uh, pong table. This is, you'd uh, you'd like play beer pong over here. It's really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, you have the glasses set up in a triangle. Uh, over here is where the um, mixed drinks are, or the um, alcoholic beverages, I guess. Uh, don't drink, kids. It's, just, it's not good. Um, <laughs> over here we have another big table. This is where like uh, this is where like people eat. And, uh, over here's the DJ system. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, turntable. Turn up for what? Yeah, that's what the DJ would, um, flick the switches to turn on the music and stuff. So, yeah, that's a party deck. And if you guys take a look up above, you can see this, uh, nice pillar, pillar quartz thing going around. It looks really nice. And I think it adds to, like, the mansion field of the backyard that, um, with the leaves draping over and everything. I think that looks nice. So, uh, oh, let's just head down here real fast. I'll show you guys the, uh, campgrounds. We have a little um, fire pit over here. You can tell scary stories around the fire pit. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really cool if you just like want to rough it one night. And uh, this is the tent. Kyle's in the tent. Uh, he's getting ready to go to bed, but he's he's got some time since it's about um, 11 o'clock in the morning in Minecraft time. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, anyway, go check out the pool right now. Nice big jacuzzi area. I like that. I like that a lot. And uh, this is the uh, pool area. Uh, it's uh, surprisingly, if you guys remember Any's lobby, it's not the pool isn't as big as Any's lobby's pool, but um, it still is really nice. It's got those pillars going around it with the uh, leaves and stuff, which I really like. I think that's a cool design with a nice um, diving board over here that you can jump in and some pool floaties in the middle of as you guys can see them. I really like how the pool came out. Uh, it's got uh, pillar courts going in there. Yeah, a lot of pillar courts on this house. I, I really like that block in this texture pack. So yeah, that's the pool area. Um, so we're going to check out the uh, rest of the outside of the house. Over here is the um, outdoor basketball court. And it's really nice. It's got two different types of wood. I think it looks really nice for basketball court designs. Um, if you guys ever make one or like do any type of um, yeah basketball court design, I think two different types of wood, no matter which type, I think it looks good. But yeah, we got some uh, nice big basketball hoops over here, and this is basketball. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. So uh, I think the last thing we're going to check out, well, actually there's two more things we have to check out. If we head, if you follow me, we're going to go into the um, the garden of the garden section of the house. And uh, right when we walk up, we're going to see we're going to see the uh, peace day resistance of the uh, entire mansion. This is the uh, this is the fountain area, and right behind the fountain we have this beautiful beautiful statue of the caretaker and um uh this is this this is a statue of my um great grandfather he made the house back in like uh 19 no, i'm just kidding uh it, it, as you guys can tell it's like a um it's like a statue replica of me and look i thought it was really funny if i put it in the um garden section <laughs> so yeah you guys can see the resemblance um yeah uh other than that the cool thing to point about about the garden is like the grass design i think that's kind of cool and the little fountains going around with all the pillars and stuff i really like how the garden came out but, uh, nice nice feature all right so uh last thing we're gonna check out is the driveway end over here we have a nice big uh off-road jeep um maybe, maybe i don't know maybe i'll do a tutorial on this um if I ever get a capture card, um, <laughs> if I ever get another capture card, funny story, I had one, but it kind of like, a, let's just say it broke, and like I didn't have a lot of good, um, a lot of good experience with it, so uh, I might get another one. Yeah. Um. So anyway, this is the garage, and here's another little sports car. I really like this. It's like a, uh, it's like a Mustang kind of car. Really nice and stuff. And we have plenty of shelves in here because this is the garage. This is where we keep all the tools and stuff, so it's cool. So, um, yeah, alright, so, uh, we just take a look around, and it looks like we are done touring the Baskerville Estate. So, I think the only right way to, uh, close this video out is head up to the, um, private, um, the private campfire on the roof. Now, um, funny story, we actually have no idea how this got here, because nobody knows who put it here. Um, so I just kind of kept it there, because I thought it was funny. Um, so anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the, uh, the, uh, house tour of the Baskerville Estate. Um, let me know what you thought of it. I always love your guys' feedback. Um, like the video if you want and stuff. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. So, like always, have a nice night, and thanks for watching.